Okay, everyone, welcome back. Apparently, I didn't realize I hit the button for a couple of seconds there. Um, once again, we're continuing our C++ learning experiments. Um, and now we're trying to count down from our uh, precarious perch of being at the number 7 or 6 or whatever we're doing here. So... I've given you guys the other half of it as homework, and I feel that it's only fair that I should go and uh, reveal how to do the remainder of it. I don't think I've even posted the IDE 1 for the first part of the homework yet, so I'm going to have to go back and edit that and not be a dick. <laughs> uh, four. Um, so clearly we're going to need another set of two loops. I kind of told you that was already the other set. So we're going to use another set of nested loops to count down from choice. Okay, so what we're going to start with is we're going to start with i equals choice. i is greater than uh, 0. And then we're going to do i minus minus, which is the exact opposite of i plus plus. And then we're going to do kind of the same thing here. Um, I want to say that we then just use the same loop for j. We do for uh, j equals 1. Uh, j is less than or equal to i. j plus plus. And then just c out for j. And toss in an end l. Oop, c out, end l here. Okay, and apparently I've done something terrible along the way here. Uh, let's see, oh, I used a comma. Silly mistype. Okay, um, just to relabel again, outer loop. And I'm going to put in lines so you guys can kind of better see and not be so clumped up with all my spacing. Um, I like to have things as compact as possible. Um, it's kind of a little thing of mine. When when you get into programs that are hundreds of lines long, it's nice to have the sort of ability to have a, a program where you keep everything sort of modular. Um, and again, we'll get into the sort of joys of that in time. Um, output current j and inner loop, and this is just going to be our line break, and this is going to end our outer loop. Okay, so we're going to try this. It might not work completely correct on my first try, or it might, you never know. Let's see, we'll try 7, because we tried that formerly, uh, and it looks like it worked out like a charm. I'll just expand this window so you guys can see that it worked. And that's, uh, in probably about five to six minutes, how you do my intro to C++ final from, I don't know, two years ago. Um, not particularly hard. It's, it's a very different way about thinking of things. But uh, you can do it with any number. I'm just going to kind of show you that little caveat I had about double-digit numbers not really looking as pretty. Um, I'll just use 11. You see how it goes out by 2? I don't like that. I don't know. I'm kind of a stickler for things. Um, I suppose I could make it that when it goes over 9, it just loops back down to 1, or 0, or whatever. And uh, But I'm not going to do that. It's not essential. At this point, you should have a good enough feeling about, uh, you know, where your sort of, uh, I guess you can say where your skill level is to know if you need help. And if you need help, really approach me. I will do my absolute best to help you out. And I will tirelessly either make video replies or I can get on Skype with you or something along those lines. Because if you're lost now, it's going to be very hard for you to get caught up. Um, because what we've done so far has been the basic kind of core of C++. Um, 
your simple statement, your variable declarations, your if, your else, your uh, your while, your for, and you know just basic types of data storage and data manipulation that we've used so far. These are all going to be reused. I mean, everything we've used so far gets used in basically every program we're going to do. Um, when I answer questions on Yahoo Answers, I can't think of a single question I've answered where I haven't used uh, either a for or a while loop. Um, unless their question was like, how do I fix the C out statement? And then, you know. Um, with that much being said, I'm going to cut this one kind of short. Um, I don't need to go into an hour of explanation for it. I've already spent uh, five, maybe six minutes of your time. So I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you guys have uh, taken away something from how I showed you how to do it. Questions below. Ask them. All right. That's going to do it. Bye, guys.